Do you ever watch something on TV or in film that captivates you so strongly that it ends up staying with you for the rest of your life? Or maybe, if you're a weirdo like me, it's the detail that goes into the outfitting and the costuming of the characters. Now, all stories have a beginning, middle, and end. But what about the stories within the stories? And the clothing that helps decorate the performers and performances of the most influential media on the planet. In today's discussion, we're going to explore the influence of fashion on on film and television. Let me know your thoughts at the conclusion of this video. All right, let's get into it. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. What do you think are the best movies of all time? Is something like King Kong on your list? <laughs> Probably not. The internet movie database classifies these 10 movies as the best movies of all time. One, Shawshank Redemption. Two, The Godfather. 3. The Dark Knight 4. The Godfather Part 2 5. 12 Angry Men 6. Schindler's List 7. The Lord of the Rings The Return of Kings 8. Pulp Fiction 9. The Lord of the Rings The Fellowship of the Ring and 10. The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly Now, you might either really disagree with this list or think it's spot on, but that's besides the point. The reason why I decided to highlight these 10 movies is because I think the majority of them have something blatantly in common. Stripping away the science fiction movies, films that tell multiple stories simultaneously from the perspective of fashion and culture, films like Pulp Fiction, The Godfather, and 12 Angry Men, Pulp Fiction reflects the 90s so expressively. From the graphic tees and jeans worn by Samuel Jackson and John Travolta, to the more iconic looks from Uma Thurman playing the role of Mia Wallace, The Godfather is well, The Godfather, it succeeds in pulling you into mid-20th century mafia-ridden New York City, and each outfit within these films attempts to tell the story within the story by accurately or artistically portraying the men and women from the era. Film seems to have this magical way of staying with us long after the credits roll. The best stories are the most detail-oriented ones, and costuming with fashion is such a vital detail. H. Perry Horton, an on-the-rise filmmaker, wrote an article titled, The Clothes Make the Character, The Impact of Costume Design. And in this article, he highlights a YouTube video, funny enough, that explains the power clothing has implicitly on storytelling and on our perception of others. Take a listen. This is a horrible suit, darling. Oh, you can't be seen in this. I won't allow it. Behind every memorable character is a meticulously chosen wardrobe. Whether the costume is extremely flashy or completely blends in, costume design provides an amazing opportunity to give us insight into a character and the world around them. Because just like in the real world, what you wear says a lot about you. Mom well, always said there's an awful lot you can tell about a person by their shoes. Now, what if we take this notion and flip it on its head. We kind of understand the role that clothing plays when it comes to telling meaningful stories in film or television. But what role or influence does the clothing that we watch as a viewer, as a consumer of media and television play on our day-to-day -day lives? On June 16, 2019, the first episode of HBO Max new serialized series Euphoria aired. And what followed in the subsequent months of the show's debut proved the influence of both storytelling and fashion. Very quickly, the outfits, the vernacular, and the ethos of the characters in the show began to spill out into the real world. There were tons of young women and girls dressing to imitate the characters of Maddie, Cassie, Lexi and Kat. And with the advent and explosion of apps like TikTok, film and television arguably have the most powerful tools ever created to spread ideas, influence, culture, and fashion very rapidly. And Euphoria is just one example. Every so many years, there's a new it show with new characters that influence real life culture and real life fashion. And in my opinion, it goes beyond just your typical live action, real human beings acting on TV screen. It also dips its toe into the realm of animation, animated films, anime, and cartoons. What are some TV shows or films that have influenced your personal style? Let me know down in the comments. The last bit we're gonna touch on is this idea I'm calling the bid for cultural relevance. The 1994 film Forrest Gump features the Nike Cortez midway through the movie. The shoe is iconic to the film and was slash is invaluable to the Nike brand. Imagine if that shoe instead of the Nike Cortez was the New Balance 990. I'm not saying New Balance would be what Nike is today, 
but these moments for brands like Nike help cement them as being some of the most culturally relevant brands of our time. For example, when Squid Game came out in 2021 and became the phenomenon that we know it is today, it is reported that sales of white vans increased by 7,800%. You don't think every shoe company in the world would like to have that level of attention and publicity on their footwear? One insane example of this bid for cultural relevancy is the Heineken example. It is speculated that Heineken paid $45 million, $45 million, to have James Bond take a swig of Heineken beer in the movie Skyfall. Imagine that, $45 million. There is definitely a bid for cultural relevance and financial gain within the spectrum of movies, media, and film. And sometimes it's organic, other times it's not. So the next time you watch your favorite film, TV show, or anime, pay attention to the details that are taking place within each and every scene. Because every bit of every scene tells a story within the story. There's fashion, there's culture, there's nuance, there's all these things happening all at once. And that's why we all love TV and film. What role do you think fashion plays in film and television? I am so curious to hear your opinions down in the comment section. And as always, I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity in 2022. So that means I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity to you, wherever you are in the world. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Abianto. Peace. You're doing it. You're becoming mighty. Come on, guys. No. Ain't no pain. Ain't, ain't no gain. Yo, what? Yo, what is good? Post vid vid, man. Post vid vid. Yo, what is good? Post vid vid. Here's a fist bump for the one time. Bop. Let's get it two times. Bop. Thank you guys so much for staying to the end of the video. I appreciate you so much for the post vid vid. Can I talk for the for the post vid 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 for the post vid vid question of the day? Let's talk about the top 10 list by IMDb. What do you think is the best movie on the IMDb top 10 list? For me, I'm gonna have to go with The Dark Knight. I'm a big, like, I love superheroes and things like that. I know if you're a girl, you're probably like, well, I don't really care about superheroes, but like, for me, I, I, I always love superhero movies. So like, The Dark Knight always was like a riveting, like, it made me like love Batman movie. Let me know your favorite movie from the IMDb list, which I said earlier, you can look it up. I'll leave a link to the description, but yeah, movies are fun. Movies are great. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time. Abianto. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Have a good day. Peace. <laughs>